Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Vito OT-XL tool bag. OT stands for Open Top and XL for Extra Large. Its dimensions are 9.5 inches wide by 16.5 inches long by 17 inches high with the handle in the upright position. It has 40 vertical pockets, 4 flat zippered pockets, a stainless steel tape clip, two large D-rings and four small D-rings. The empty weight is 9.2 pounds. It features a heavy-duty waterproof base, waterproof body fabric and tool pockets, which are made of 1800 PVC impregnated nylon. The bag features a leather rim all the way around it and the handle has an over-molded rubber grip and the zippers are double-stitched and heavy-duty. The stitching throughout the bag is industrial strength, double nylon. This tool bag is perfect for contractors and serious do-it-yourselfers who prefer the open top model. The bag is great for many trades, but I'm going to set mine up as a plumbing bag. Now let's load this beauty up. First I'll put a pipe cutter in one of the vertical pockets. This is the new Klein combustible gas detector. I'll put it in one of the vertical pockets as well. Now a plumbing brush and a no-hub coupling tool will go in the next pocket. Then a Klein multi-tool in the next one. This is my turbo torch, self-igniting plumbing torch, which I'll put in a loop pocket. Safety glasses are a must. Next I'll put flux, plumber's grease, solder, and ABS cement in the bottom of the bag. Some sandpaper will also go on the bottom of the bag and my business cards will go in the zippered pocket. Now on one of the ends I'll put my tape measure on the tape clip. Then I'll put a razor knife, a sharpie, a pen, and a carpenter's pencil in the other pockets. On the other side of the bag I'll put a set of Weeha hex head wrenches. Then I'll put a hammer in one of the loop pockets. For screwdrivers, I'll put in a Phillips number two, a straight slot, a large straight slot, a Klein 15-in-1 driver, and a cabinet driver. They all fit in the bag nicely. Next, I'll put in the new Klein reversible adjustable wrench slash pipe wrench. Then I'll put in three Kinepex Cobra wrenches, followed by end nippers, and a pair of electrical installation pliers. Then I'll put in a fluke voltage detector because copper plumbing pipes can get electrified and it's wise to make a quick check before grabbing pipes with bare hands. I'll put in my stubby multi-tool in one of the small slots followed by the new Klein clamping light which can be very useful in many plumbing situations. On the other end of the bag I'll put in a pocket knife Teflon tape and electrical tape, and flux brushes. The last item will be my impact driver. The OT-XL comes with a heavy duty padded shoulder strap which connects onto two large D-rings if you choose to use it. Here is the Vito OT-XL next to the Vito Tech OT-MC so that you can see the size comparison. You can see that the OT-XL is considerably larger Here's the OT-XL next to the Vito Tech LC bag. And here are all three bags so that you can get a good idea of size. They're all made with excellent quality and attention to detail. They all come with a five year no downtime warranty. In conclusion, the OT-XL is a great bag that will last and carry a lot of tools in an organized fashion. I like the open top format and I like the selection of slot sizes from large slots to small ones so that you can organize tools of different sizes. I'll put a link in my video description for the Vito Pro Pack OT-XL. Also, I'll put links for the Vito Pro Pack Tech OT-MC, which I use as my electrician's bag, and I'll put a link for the Vito Tech LC. I'll put links for the Vito Pro Pack Tech MC, which is 10 inches by 8 inches by 12 inches, and for the Vito Pro Pack Tech 
MCT, which is 13 by 13 by 16. I'll put a link for the Vito Pro Pack TP4 Technician Tool Pouch, and I'll put a link for the Vito Pro Pack DR XL Tool Bag. Also, I'll put links for all the various tools and testers seen in the video. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.